Welcome to the Sage 50 U.S. Edition Anytime Learning Topic. In this topic, you will learn how to run the Employee Journal Synchronization Test. The Employee Journal Synchronization Test is a company database integrity check that can be run when key amounts on payroll reports and forms do not match when they typically should. For example, if the federal income tax withheld printed in Box 2 on an employee's W-2 doesn't match the same amount reported on the standard yearly earnings report, there may be a data-related synchronization issue causing the error. In a situation like this, the Employee Journal Sync Test may help resolve the issue. Be aware that synchronization tests will not fix issues caused by user entry errors or cause runtime calculations on reports to change. These tests are designed to fix minor data damage by verifying the integrity of your company database and correcting any synchronization issues between journal data amounts and totals stored in other database tables. Run this test only after user entry errors and report misinterpretation has been ruled out and data damage is suspected. Follow these steps to run this test. If you are running Sage 50 on a network, have other users log out and close the program. On the computer hosting the data, open the company and change the accounting period to period 1. To do this, click the accounting period date range at the top of the program. On the Change Accounting Period window, select Accounting Period 01 in the Open Accounting Period list, and then click OK. Next, select Help on the main menu bar, select Support Utilities, and then select Integrity Check. The Integrity Checker window displays. Make a backup. This should not be skipped. Give the backup a unique name so that you can identify it as an Integrity Check backup. When the backup completes, the Integrity Check window displays. There are four steps to the Employee Journal Synchronization Test. First, you will re-index three employee and journal tables, one at a time. Reindexing will make sure the data tables have not been damaged by external system issues. Check the Reindex Files option, and in the Reindex File list, select Employee. Now click OK. You may see a progress window displayed. A successful Reindex will finish without errors or messages and will place you back in the program. Select Help on the main menu bar again, select Support Utilities and then Integrity Check. We already made a backup, so on the Integrity Checker window, let's click Continue. Check the Reindex Files option again. In the Reindex File list, select Journal Header and click OK. Depending on the size of your data, reindexing a journal file may take several minutes. When it's finished, you'll be placed back in Sage 50. Once again, select Help Support Utilities, and then Integrity Check. Click Continue. Check the Reindex Files option, and in the Reindex File list, select Journal Rows. Now click OK. As mentioned earlier, a successful Reindex will complete without any prompts or errors. If you do receive an error during a Reindex step other than leading or trailing spaces detected, this usually means that the file has damage that cannot be fixed by the integrity check. In this case, you'll need to restore an earlier backup and re-index the file again to make sure that the backup did not contain the damage as well. Only when you can fully re-index a file without receiving a fatal error can you trust the data and proceed. When finished, once again select Help, Support Utilities, and then Integrity Check. Click Continue. Now we'll check the Employee Journal option in the Data Synchronization Tests section. Leave Pause when error detected, checked, and click OK. This test is run to correct several common payroll-related issues and will make sure that your payroll journal details are synchronized with totals stored in other areas of the database. You will be prompted if synchronization errors are found and corrected. Click OK through these prompts. If sync issues are found, Sage 50 will adjust the totals stored in non-journal areas of the data to match amounts reported by the payroll journal and earnings reports. After the test is complete, change back to your current accounting period and then check to see that the issue has been resolved. If not, change back to period 1, 
go back into the integrity checker and then check journal balances. Click OK and take note of any errors that reference specific transactions, such as paycheck reference numbers. Errors during this test generally mean that the reference transaction is corrupt and should be deleted and rekeyed. If the test fixes the issue, make a backup of the corrected data and consider the issue resolved. If you are still having problems after running the test, please contact Sage 50 support. This concludes our look at how to run the Employee Journal Synchronization Test.